Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco. Oh, this overhead lighting. I am in the Dorset in Wuhan. Let's have a look around the room before I mess it up. So I'd originally been booked in just a standard room and that's fine. But I asked on arrival here if I could pay to upgrade. And I think it was an extra 200 RMB per day. It, his English was absolutely great. The others checking people around him didn't seem very helpful. I arrived in the rain, so I am absolutely saturated from like, oh my gosh. And unfortunately, just where you pull in isn't a pull in. So going from the the car to the front of the hotel is wet. Anyway, let's check it out. Oh, and also there is a Dorset Club, but I'm not part of that, so that's weird that that wasn't upsold or even given as an option because when we arrive on the 12th floor it says doors a club I'm like oh there's a club here and, but maybe it's like the Holiday Inn where it's not operational and therefore it was never mentioned until I arrived here but he said this is the best room so I will link it in the description box below and yeah nice to be in the city so if you've just seen my room tour of my apartment so I've just moved that's why I'm wearing the same thing because it's the same day moving across into a hotel with bathrobe apparently only one bathrobe <laughs> and I imagine if there were two people here <laughs> who's sharing the bathrobe oh they do provide an umbrella in here not just a shoe shine mat so it is more expensive and it's in a different location than my previous Wuhan hotel review I am here for few days but this is literally everything I have I'm so pleased to see a lazy butler though I feel like we never see these anymore some good deaths so I get some work done now, apparently this is a king size bed oh there's the slippers there for such a big room I feel like the bed should be bigger and yeah it's a nice place to chill oh now I wonder why they've got earplugs that mean this place is noisy? No, you mean, oh yes, there is a USB charger. Yes, oh that's right. And an iPod dock. Well, oh, that's old. The view is nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. So it must be 230 RMB per day for the breakfast. He did say that it's Western and Chinese. I always am a little hesitant with these places because obviously it's for the local market and sometimes the Western options are not that great. How is it pretty short from 7 to 9.30? There's a bag. Oh, that's cute. Remember to bring your passport and your health code. <laughs> because I've been living in Wuhan, I just show the thing that I scan to give the COVID test person because I just haven't been asked for my code in such a long time. I literally don't even know what app it's in, don't know where to find it. And because Chinese people do it, use the same app, but use it differently, then they can't help. And different cities have different apps and different codes and oh, I wish it was just a national system. Okay, let me just give a quick summary of what I've liked and what I haven't liked since I've been here. I've been, my stay has been four nights. The breakfast is awful. It is not for Westerners. There's fruit. <laughs> and at that, melon but that's purely based on the season that I'm here there is nothing else the walls here are paper thin like you can literally hear people having conversations and so I knew didn't I say when I first came in I was like oh that's strange they're giving earplugs <laughs> mm, yeah <laughs> so it's fine because obviously I can't understand what they're saying but I'm sure even right now they're hearing me make this <laughs> What has been good, I'm glad that I upgraded. The space has been really, really great and to enjoy. And definitely the bathtub has been the highlight. There are a few amenities missing. There's no body lotion. There's no pump soap. There's only this little, because they have cleaned in here today, there's only this for hand soap in this area. And yeah, they're just really missing a few key items 
just here on this vanity, which is a shame. And definitely towels. So this is how many towels I give you. And they've been very prompt. I've had to call housekeeping a few times since I've been here to say I need more towels. Also because the shower leaks, you can see how it just naturally is open here. So this bathroom floor is completely saturated and it does actually say here, yeah, caution wet floor. And the people on the front desk have really, really tried really really tried to help and accommodate me and that's been so nice there is a Lawson's right across the street which is good um, I was just open for little snacks and things and you have to get water the the famous street is literally just at the end of the block and then that's a chunk of it there is a McDonald's and KFC within 500 meters walking there is a really small Starbucks I did walk a little bit further down the street and found a bigger one. I did go into Zara, there is a Muji. Certainly for the location here, it is a bit of a pain coming in the DD, coming back from places because these are little old streets. And so depending on the time of day, the traffic can be quite bad. You're at a bit of a standstill. 